right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKudash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers and a few Aquaf, I would like to say Shalom from the brother Ha Amayan. And um, Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. We're going into a few things about mainly being contrite and um, you know having that 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 guilt, not being proud, not being boasting, both that boastful boastful spirit, you know, um, because that's what we see today, man. Um, you can find yourself a uh, you just you were surrounded by proud people. Ain't nobody really feeling ashamed other than the hopeful of let Lord willing we be a part of that number, man. Nobody really feeling ashamed of the sins they committed, the iniquities, man, all the things they did towards Yahweh by Shemaah Shah and how much mercy he done had for you to still be here and have opportunity to, to be uh to be forgiven, man, and and, and ulti ultimately saved. Okay, and that's very important, man. So with that being said. Um, this is the book of Titus, chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, um, for, we, uh, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, man, because, you know, being in the world before the truth, before coming to this gospel, this good news, man, the truth of Yahweh Shemar Shai, we had we was, we was we were spiritually dead. We didn't know it was an elect that existed. We didn't know that it was a, a remnant. We didn't know. I didn't know myself. I didn't know, man. So, it, plenty of times I fell short, man. Plenty of times the Lord could have allowed me to die, put to death, judged. Okay. So, hey, man. Once again, Titus three and three. For we, are, for we ourselves also also were sometimes foolish, disobedient. Yeah, man. And we was I, I don't been disobedient to my dad and my mom before, man. Things that I wasn't raised to do. Okay, and you see that now. You see that wherever city, wherever country you at, man, around the four winds of the earth, you have that, man. You got it. So, hey, it's so bad. What? You got the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, Jake Child. Um, hey, there, there's so much to go to 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 putting their mother, father to death, man, for for insurance, uh, and for the inheritance, and just wickedness, man. Don't want to even get up and wash the dishes and take out the trash. Saying f you, shut up, b i t c h. Uh, want to smoke with their mama, smoke with their daddy. Like, that's wicked things, man. Like, it's, it's just, this This is no place to be proud, man. Like, it's nothing to be, this, this is nothing to feel so charming about. We're supposed to hate this life, man. We're supposed to hate that sin, man. Okay, and on today, hey, man, I, I'm just in that type of spirit where I just feel ashamed, man. Due to the fact that look at how wicked I was, we was, and 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 to this day we still fall. Every day we go off some type of way, man. That's nothing to be proud of, man. Okay. Reading the rest of the verse, verse three, it says, deceived, serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy. Hateful and hating one another. And that's what you see out here, man. And we used to be just like that, man. So when we look at these two thirds, hey, I was just like dreadheads, smoking weed, selling weed, hey, the whole nine, man. And, and, and it may not be expedient to, to say all the things I've done, but it's, it's facts, man. And guess what, man? Uh, Abaratazi, Lord willing, the Lord um, wash away those sins, man. Long as I'm not being a hypocrite, 
okay? Because you're supposed to hate that old man. You're supposed to put away that old man and put on this new man and fight that good fight every day. Sincerely, man. Okay? Because this flesh profit of nothing, man. Okay? Verse 4. But after the kindness and the love of God, our Savior toward man appeared. But... It says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost, the Rechakodash, man. It says, which he shed on his abundantly through Yahawashah, Hamashiach, our Savior, man. Okay. That being justified by his grace, we should be heirs according to the hope of eternal life, man. So, mainly, man, we want to be, Yahweh Shai um, is that sacrificial lamb, man. And with that being said, man, he the reason that we can be cleared of all that guilt, man. Okay, through Yahweh, by, through Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, Yahweh gave us his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, man. We got to go through Yahweh Shai. So, Yahweh Shai does matter. He always mattered, man. And right now, you can't go through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and just go straight to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You got to go through Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son. He's the he's the mediator, man. Okay? He's that door. Okay? But um, going back into that contrite, that not having that boastful spirit, man. Get a drink of water. This is Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23 and it reads thus saith the Lord Yahweh let not the wise man glory in his wisdom so this truth we have man the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shai this wisdom knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by Shemal Shai man we don't need to be glorifying in that man boasting in that in a sense where you just you like shitting on somebody Okay, because we're really supposed to be in Clark Kent mode, man. Cause, cause, because, in a sense, the scriptures say, cast not your prayer before swine, and you can be overzealous, man. You, you destroy yourself for, for becoming overrighteous, man. And, and as a matter of fact, let me grab that real quick if I may. Um, let's see. Yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 I'm going to start at verse 15 Ecclesiastes 7 and 15 It reads uh, All things have I seen in the days of my vanity There is a just man that perished Perisheth in a righteous In his righteousness So like you I'm going to start that over. All things I have seen in the days of my vanity, there is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness. And there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. It says, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy of thyself, man? See? And they go back to Jeremiah 9, 23. It says, they said, thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 17. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time, man? So we don't we don't want to boast and, and, and um have that puffed up spirit, man. Okay, because knowledge puff of up. It says, and you're, the, you're really destroy yourself, man. Okay. Jeremiah 9, 23. Reading on, it said, Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, man. So, a military man want to uh, glorify in his, I mean, the people he killed and having that pride, big old demon spirit on him, like he's just untouchable. So much of Mike Tyson, though, man. Um, Floyd Mayweather, your regular street guys or whatnot, your local street guys that are known for knocking folks out or some type of might, having having that might. No, man, because who gave you that strength? Who gave you that physicality, man, being able to be that strong, being able to be that uh, firm, okay? 
or having that might. Verse 24, Jeremiah 9 to 24, it says, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. See, that's what it's about, man. Glorifying Yahweh by Shemal Shai and understanding that we know Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. And the Lord is terrible. And we understand. See, I'm finna read on. It says that I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shai, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness. See? And that's balancing now, man. Because the Lord will judge you. The Lord will put you to death. The Lord will blind you, paralyze you, take your children away, which are his. Evict you. Car accidents. Lose your job. Uh, hey, it's all type of accounts, man. It says, "Let but let him that glory, of, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. That I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashamal Shah, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, self the Lord, Yahweh Bashamal Shah, man. See? So we don't want to be having that type of spirit, man. And I'm really talking to myself. I don't want, you don't want to boast and things like that. And guess what? I'm going to just put this on wax, man. Um, The Lord tested me the other night. I was watching. I think the brothers in Valdosta live, very edifying. And I'm not a brother of GMS. I'm just Lord willing, the man, a hope, the Lord willing, part of the hopeful elect. But um, the name of my YouTube channel was Elect Chosen, okay. And there was the second or third page, and the elder I want to say in GMS Orlando, I was putting the precepts on the comment board, and he was like. Uh, uh, he was like, at Elect Chosen, I would advise you to um, change your name because you don't know, we don't know who the elect is and, and who the chosen is. And right then, guess what? I said, Khan Salaki. He was like, it's all good. Uh, but through the spirit, that was a test. And for me, that's how, just speaking as a man, I feel like that was a test, man, to see if I would under, uh, deal with the correction, deal with the rebuke. And it wasn't so much of being heavy, but so you could be so proud. Of, like you, you, you go back to that um that pride, that 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 boastful spirit, thinking that you're somebody or some like that. You know, so when 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 a man of the Lord encourages encourages you or advises you to do something, just do it, man. And guess what? I did it right then, right there. I changed my um YouTube channel name, man. Okay, but guess what? That just was a test too. To see what type of spirit, what type of growth, am I am I really contrite? Okay, and I just want to put that out there, man. So the Wadi how about Shemal Sha for for that test, man, and for that for that for that man for that elder to um tell me to you know change that um change my YouTube channel, man. But um, I'm gonna go into the Book of Psalms. Because a lot of people, and we see that, man. And I'm, and I'm just a brother who preached out Columbus, Georgia. But I fellowship with the brothers of Great Millstone, Columbus, Georgia, man. Them, them, them beautiful brothers, man. The, the whole body beautiful, man. Okay? And it, it just, I understand, man. I ain't been in, but going on next year, March, Lord willing, um, we be out here soon. But if it come to be that next year is here, March will be my third year, okay? And I don't want to have that, oh, I think I know it all spirit, man. I don't want that type of spirit. I don't want that big demon on me. I don't want that demon, period. But, you know, we got to fight that flesh, man. You know, you can find yourself being too, and I, that that's not the case. It just, the scriptures say, examine yourself. Know you're not yourselves, man. But nevertheless, um, this is Psalms chapter 34, and let me get um uh, I'm gonna start at um uh, I'm gonna get verse 17. It says the righteous cry and the Lord Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh, meaning near unto them that uh, that are of a broken heart, and save of such as be of a contrite spirit, man. So the ones that they your spirit feel crushed, man. You got that ashamed, 
type of spirit. Like, you feel broken, man. Like, you just feeling guilty. Like, oh, you sick of this life. You, you hate your sin. There's nothing to brag about with that old life. People may remember you for this, that, and third. That boy used to do that, used to do that, or she used to do that, or sister, sister, or whatnot, you know? So, we don't want that type of spirit. But guess what? The scripture just said, the Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart, man. Lowly, being meek, man. And save of such as be of a contrite spirit. Okay. It said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. And the time we're coming into, man, Jacob's trouble, um, the hopeful elect will be saved out of that, man. The hopeful elect will be saved out of Jacob's trouble. The hopeful elect will gonna, gonna be saved, period. But we gotta go through that fire, man. We gotta get tried. We gotta get tried, man. And, and and the Lord is about to try us, man. Okay? No one is exempt from Jacob's trouble, man. But we gotta remember that the Lord is merciful. Okay? We gotta remember, man. That the Lord is very, very merciful, man. In this same chapter, it says Psalm 30, Psalms 34 and verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles, man. This King David, man. Um, the book of Psalms, man. Okay. It said the Psalm of David. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth around about them that fear him. And deliver of them. So that fear is very important, man. Fear. Having that fear. Because in Isaiah 33 and 6, at the end of that verse, it says, uh, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. It says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, 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 of his time. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just grab it real quick. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. See? The wisdom and knowledge of Yah by Shemal Shai. But in order to have that, you got the fear. It says, The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. So fear you have by Shemal Shai. That's the beginning of wisdom. That's what's going to make you wise, man. Okay? Let me get Zephaniah. Chapter 2. And I'm going to get verse 3. It says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord. Yahweh Shemal Shah's anger, man. So that's the importance also of working out your own salvation, man. Work on you, correct yourself, and accept the cor correction from brothers. You know, but examine yourself or get you, you got to get, this is a fight. It start with yourself first, man. Looking in that mirror, man, you you be the problem too, man. You know, ourselves, man. Because you're not really examining yourself, watching that behavior, okay? Checking yourself. Oh, am I too proud to hear this brother out? Am I too proud to hear the elder out? Am I too proud to hear the younger brother out? No, man, just chill man to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling man and mainly this is what this lesson is about man just not having that not not you don't want to have that that proud spirit man that 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 big demon man because a lot of jakes don't listen they don't want to listen to nothing they don't care but to hell with them man because they're gonna they're gonna be reserved they better come back and repent or in that day, if you be one of the ones in the 11th hour, hey, Lord willing, you be part of the hopeful elect, man. Lord willing, be part of that number. Because I myself, I know I got work to do. It's a lot more I have to do to please you how about Shemar Shai, man. Okay, so like I want to get Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. I ain't got no... The heart, the heart, but you know, been going through it, but it'd be all right. Ecclesiasticus chapter 18, and I'm gonna get verse 14. It says, He have mercy on them that receive discipline, 
and that diligently seek after his judgment, man. Y'all by Shamal Shah chastise the ones he love, man. He put the hell on you too, man. What the what what the prophet Job said, man. What Job said. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it real quick. Um, uh, just something quick. Job said, uh, Job chapter two verse ten. But he said unto her, I'm gonna start at verse nine. Then said his wife unto him, Do thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the Most High and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we not receive evil? And in all this did not Job sin with his lips, man. So the Lord chastised us, man. Put us through that hell. Okay? Just for us to cry out more. And to show us that he's dealing with us, man. Okay? No pain, no gain. You got to keep fighting, keep punching. Get up, keep fighting, keep punching. And we got to rely on these scriptures, man, and trust in your high by Shamal Shah wholeheartedly, 100%. Uh, Sirach 18, and let me get um 20. Before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, Thou shalt find mercy. That's what we want, man. Mercy. So we need to examine ourselves, man. First and foremost, man. There's an old song that says, Sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. But don't take that the wrong way. At the end of the day, make sure you examine yourself first and foremost, man. Because it's not really in my place to be speaking on what's going on with the guys that um been been scoffing and and scoring scorn and, and, and things of that nature to the elders and just men and great millstone. But it's wrong, man. It's wrong. And they, they apparently they wasn't examining themselves, man. Okay? The same men that's supposed to be sincere. The same men that probably did lessons with guys or got advice from guys, man. These people, this is this is what this is what I was saying, man. Ultimately, the scriptures telling you that, man. Don't 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 uh, pride go before destruction, man, and a haughty spirit before a fall. We don't want to be like that, man. Hey, reading on. It says. Humble thyself before thou be sick. And in the time of sins, true repentance, man. So, you want to be meek, lowly in spirit, man. Like, um, at the end of the day, you want to keep striving for this truth, man. Until death. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, man. For the censor, I can, man, censor off walk, man. Because... It's a fearful thing to, to fall into the hands of the living power, man. So when you get to feel like you're above, hey, you're not the most high, man. He's the he's the highest. He's the most high for a reason, man. He's he's the existing one for a reason. That's why his, that title, the most high, his name is Yahweh. Okay, he exists, man. He's, he, he's the most high for a reason, man. You're not above the Lord. You're not even above you have a shot. Okay, you're not even above when it when it comes to the office. Hey, it's, it's levels, man. Them guys put that work in. Them apostles and elders put that work in. Them elder bishops put that work in, man. And guys are just scoffing. Do, you know, say wicked things, man. Better repent sincerely, man. Sirach chapter 18 and verse 23. It says, um, now nah, verse 22, it says, Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, and defer not unto death to be justified. Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not at be not as one that temple of the Lord, man. So you gotta. You you hey, 
and just speaking on repentance, man. When you repent that prayer, when you when you praying to y'all by Shemal Shai and repenting, hey, you can't be wavering, man. You got to really mean that, man. You got to really feel ashamed. You got to really hate that, man. You got to, hey, it, it really like you feel like in a sense, you know we want the Lord to deem us worthy, but you feel it unworthy. That's why you're repenting. Because you feel it unworthy, like, hey, man, the Lord probably ain't even going to do that in the third. It's, it's, it's some doubt. But the fact that also you feel ashamed, man. How many people really feeling ashamed? Like, bro, we got nothing to be proud of, bro. Well, our righteousness is as a filthy rags, man. We done, we done went off. We done did, we done did things, man. This, this mind itself is, is off. Okay. Sirach 18. Now I'm finna get ready to close out. I ain't planning on making a lesson long. Sirach 18, and I was at 23. It said, Before thou prayest, prepare thyself. And be not as the one that temple of the Lord, man. It says, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end. And the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. And that's what it's going to be like, man. The Lord is finna bring his vengeance, man. His wrath, his anger, that righteous indignation, man. That anger. Think upon that wrath, man. Having that contrite spirit gonna make you think like, hey. We know what's coming. 200 million missiles. Okay. Fire. Plagues. Pestilence. Swords. Famine. Martial law. Nothing but judgment. Evils. Bad times. The implementation of the c hip, That M-A-R-K. Okay. It says, verse 27. Jumping down. It says, um... A wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning, in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe time, man. So, hey. A fool will not observe time, man. So, at the end of the day, man, we, 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 we don't want to be glorified. In that man, glorifying and nothing but just giving our glory to Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. Pleasing Yahweh by Shemal Shah and trying your best to work out your own salvation. So, we know at the end of the day, your works, your labor won't be in vain, man. Because a lot of a, a lot of guys, and it's nothing personal to nobody, it's just this is what's going on, man. A lot of people are, are being misled, man, due to the fact that. People are not examining themselves, so you're allowing that guy or that camp or that particular person to go off due to the fact that you ain't examining yourself, man. So having that contrary heart, you can accept correction. So with that being said, it's a lucky for me ranting. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson, man. Lord willing, someone get the point. We got to please how about Shemal Shai, man. It's not about us, okay? At the end of the day, it's about how about Shemal Shai and getting his word out, doing his work, being about our father's business, and just not sugarcoating it. Straight to the point. Scribing for the truth unto death, man. So, Lord, wouldn't this was an edifying lesson once again? I know I said that a few times, but I'm going to close out by giving our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom on to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. To the sense of believers and a few Akwaf, I would like to say Shalom on. Abaka Shabba, Baka Shabba, Baka Shabba, Baba Baal, Kwame Yasharala, Barak Kyle Akim, Shalom on.